technological education as a whole has always been inquiry-based. Students are using the tenets of the design process and also the six C's to go ahead and to create, to collaborate, have critical thinking skills, and to, I guess, really recognize that failure is something that happens when you're working and fabricating with something. Uh, it's not always gonna go right, um, but that iterative process of trying and trying and trying um, and to have that successful funnel product is very important. Okay. I hope that they walk into this room, that they're engaged and that they're positive and that uh, the, all of the different things that we're doing are speaking to them and the validity in their world and that they're making that connection. And if they're doing that, it doesn't matter what I'm teaching, it doesn't matter if they know that they're learning aspects of math and calculus and physics and science and we bring those literacy components because it is the immersed learner. And part of that is just the attitude that they have when they walk into the room. This has to be a place for them to, when they're really engaged self-learners in that way and they're really deep in their thinking, they make connections everywhere. It's always in their mind space from the time that they're on the bus going home to um, there's all the problems that they see in the world that need to be fixed. So it's sort of that all-encompassing, holistic approach to learning. And a bit hours later... My background was really a tenant in STEM education, science, tech, engineering, and math, as well as looking at all of the problems that occur all around us and providing our students, uh, really our, the, our future generation, to go ahead and to create uh, solutions to those problems. They're going to be living in this world. They're going to be the change makers. So pulling um, our ideas for inquiry from day-to-day -day, uh, headlines that are happening from technology, from their own issues and problems that they're having with technology and um, also the infrastructure that we have in our cities and in our country and our world. So it, it has that ripple effect out. looks uh, very different from what they have seen pre in previous uh, years. Uh, we have a lot of different new machinery that is in the room. The actual physical makeup of the room is different. We have 3D printers and a laser cutter. Um, and in that as well, even our actual classroom area looks very different, I think, than what they have been exposed to. Uh, we have a sort of a Com uh, comrade area where everyone is sitting in the middle. That's how we start our classes. Everyone looking at each other, collaborating, talking, pulling ideas uh, from the headlines as well too, and then fabricating here. So some of the things that we've looked at already are just recreating a common device uh, through 3D printing. Uh, we will be looking at, um, so that would be anything from an everyday project that already exists. Taking it also from there voice and their choice. So if they're hockey players, let's look at that helmet. Uh, if they're football players, what does that mean um, for their, uh, their equipment? How are we carrying our equipment? How are we making sure that it's well for our bodies, well for our minds? Um, and really try to reinvent and make things better. We did look at a lot of uh, real world um, options already. One of them was concussions and bicycle helmets and doing away with the helmet, looking at the invisible bike helmet, which was created by two uh, female innovators in Sweden and really bringing that idea to what could that look like for all of our um, head injuries and all of our concepts in that way. And then we're also using, utilizing basic functional skills with each of the saws, the drill presses, the 3D printer, using a laser cutter to have functional devices and forms. And our goal is not to just make something just to have another, like with 3D printing, we just don't want to have another piece of plastic in the world. <laughs> it's to make something with purpose and intent and to not be consumers, but to be creators. And so that's really what the focus is on.